Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be downgrading an iPod Touch second generation to iOS 2.2.1. Now quickly I will go over the things you need in order to do this. First you're going to need a second generation iPod Touch and you're going to need the MB model of iPod Touch. If you go into settings general about, go to model, you'll see MB. That's the one you want. What you don't want is an MC model, which I have right here. These were released in 2009 and they cannot be downgraded to iOS 2. The other way to tell if your iPod is compatible is by turning them over and looking at the storage capacity on the back. If you guys see how much bigger this one is, this again is the MB model, this is the one you want. The big storage, the big uh, like text here, the big font, is only found on the MB models. In the MC models, this size was decreased. So you want the large one. Other than that, you also need, obviously, 30 pin to USB cable. And probably most difficult is you're gonna need a Mac that is running, in my case, Snow Leopard. And this is a 2008 MacBook. And I installed Snow Leopard with the Snow Leopard install disk. Now, what this gave me is the version of iTunes that allows for this downgrade. In my case, that is gonna be version 9.0.2, as you can see right there. Now I've heard that this works on other versions, but I cannot confirm that. This is the one that worked for me. Also, what you're gonna need is a newer computer that is gonna be able to download the IPSW for your iPod Touch. Okay, so on your newer computer, this is a 2015 MacBook Pro. 13 inch, you're going to go to ipsw.me. Once on there, you're going to scroll down to HomePod and iPod Touch, then find the second gen iPod Touch, and scroll down to you see 2.2.1, click that, and then scroll down and you're going to click this download button and close, and that's gonna download. Now you're gonna to wanna to move this to a USB drive or an external hard drive that is formatted as Mac OS X Extended Journaled. You're gonna move that to that hard drive and then plug it into the old Mac, which is running uh, Snow Leopard, and then you can drag that file, this IPSW, to the desktop, and you'll be ready to go for the next step. So, to begin, we have the iPod Touch that we're going to downgrade, which is right here. This, it's got the big text, so you know this is the right version. We'll verify that. It's the MB version. Great. This is on 4.2.1. That is fine. We're going to downgrade this to 2.2.1. So what you do, plug it in, plug this into the computer, and we're gonna put this iPod into DFU mode. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down, sorry, let's see here. This can be ignored, you can click okay. That doesn't matter. All right, DFU mode. We're gonna hold the power on the home button down like so for about 10 seconds. Then you're gonna let go of the power button, but keep holding the home button. For 15 seconds, the iPod screen should stay black and you should get a pop-up on the computer. There we go. All right, we are ready to begin. Let me move closer. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna click OK on that. Now, you're gonna hold down the Option key and click Restore and it should bring up this window. Here, you're gonna find your IPSW file. For me, it's on my desktop, 
verify it's the right one, iPod 2-1 is the second gen, version 2.2.1. That's what we want, we're gonna click choose. And the downgrade process is gonna begin. You're gonna let this computer do its thing, and eventually you should see the Apple logo with a loading bar on the iPod Touch. So don't touch anything until this process finishes, and when it does, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, the iPod is finished, and it'll either say connect to iTunes or it'll go right to the screen. So if it says connect to iTunes, go ahead and plug it in. It should still be plugged in, so you shouldn't have that problem. But you can unlock it, and you can see right away we've got the old metal dock, which is indicating at least iOS 3 or below. We'll check settings, general, and about. And there we go, 2.2.1. And this is completely untethered. You can reset, turn off, turn back on, whatever you want to do with this iPod. And it will remain on 2.2.1. just like that. So again, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or run into any troubles, leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to answer them. Once again, you need the MB model iPod Touch 2nd Gen MacBook running um, Mountain Lion with this whatever version of iTunes this was and obviously a cable and the new, a new computer which can download the IPSW as well as a USB drive or something to transfer it to this old computer. That's been it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.